Happy Wednesday, my kindergarten friends. Today is a special day. Today is called Epiphany, and we're going to learn a little bit about the three wise men, or the three kings that came to visit baby Jesus when he was born. They came on what's called Epiphany, and Epiphany is always on January 6th. So we're going to go ahead and get started with our story. The story of the three wise kings. This is retold and illustrated by Tommy DePaulo. And I'm gonna, see, I think I'm gonna read the words and then I'll show you the pictures. Long ago in the east, in lands far from one another, there lived three kings, Malachor of Arabia, Jasper of Theris, and Balthazar of Saba. These wise men studied the stars. Each night they looked at the sky and wrote down where the stars were, where they had come from, and where they were going. One night, a star they had never seen before appeared in the sky. Each of the kings consulted his books and found that this new star was the sign that a great king was about to be born. And who is that? Baby Jesus. So each king, not knowing about the others, set out to follow the star to find the child king and to honor him. And each carried him with a gift. Malachor took gold, Jasper frankincense, and Balthazar myrrh. After many days and nights, the three wise kings met. They found that they were all following the same star, so they continued their journey together. But as they came near to Jerusalem, they lost sight of the star, and they did not know which way to go. Let us ask at the palace of King Herod, one of them said. Surely Herod will know of the birth of another great king. Where is he that has been born to be king of the Jews, they asked. We have seen his star in the east, and we have come to honor him. Now Herod, who was an evil man, was disturbed when he heard this. He wished to be the only king in that land. He went to his chief priests and learned men and asked them where this child would be born. It has been written at Bethlehem in Judea, they told him. Herod sent for the three kings. Go to Bethlehem and find out all about the child king, he said. And when you have found him, come back and tell me so I may worship him too. The three wise kings set out for Bethlehem, not knowing that Herod wanted to destroy the newborn baby. And there in the sky, once again, was the star. They followed it until it stopped over the place where the child was born. Like a flame of fire, that star pointed out, God, the King of Kings. And going into the place, they saw the child with his mother, Mary, and falling down on their knees, they honored him. Then they opened their treasures and offered the gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. That night, as the kings slept, they were warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, for he wished to destroy the child. So the three kings, to keep Herod from finding the child, returned to their countries by a different way.
hellos, I moved to a little bit of a different location so that I can show you how to make your epiphany project. You can see my example up on the door. You are going to need your scissors, a glue stick, a yellow crayon, and the plastic baggie that I sent home in it is a piece of black construction paper and all of the pieces you'll need to make your epiphany project. So if you don't have any of those or you're missing one of those supplies, make sure you pause the video and go get them. All right. Speaking of needing all of my supplies <laughs> and my cramp belt. Okay. So I'm not going to do every step. I'll show you one part and then I'll hold up the pause card and let you do that step and then show the next step. So when you're ready, just press play again and you can continue on to the next step. So the first step is to cut out your three kings robes. It does not matter what order you cut them out and glue them on your paper. Um, you can do it in any order, but you have three. Um, you have either a teal turquoise colored or a blue, a pink or kind of like a magenta, and an orange. And again, it doesn't matter which order you cut them out and glue them on. But what you'll do is follow the, the black solid line. To cut them up and you can see it's the shape of a triangle so you're gonna want the um, long sides to kind of be going down that point where the long sides meet is the top of your um, wise man so again you'll cut it out on the black solid line and then use your glue stick and glue them on to your black paper like that. Okay, so go ahead and you can do your three. Again, it doesn't matter what order you do them in, just make sure you get all three of them cut up. All right, so now that you have your three robes glued on, I just have my one because I'm gonna use it as my example to build with you, all on the video. You are going to need the uh, tan colored paper that has three circles on it. These are going to be your king's heads. So all you're going to do, cut out on that black solid line. Little glue on one side and stick it to the top of your king's robe. And then you'll repeat and do that for all three of your kings. Let's go ahead and do your heads. Perfect. The next step that you're gonna do is make your three kings crown. So each of you in your little plate, in your little plastic bag, has three yellow kind of black tangles. Is what we're gonna call these shapes. Um, you're gonna hold your rectangle so that it's going the hot dog way. Remember we've talked about hamburger up and down, hot dog across. You wanna hold it across like this, and just at the top is where you're gonna cut. And you're going to make those mountain shapes. And you're going to go back and forth, making the mountain shapes. There you go. I'll do it again so you can see it too. So again, hold it the hot dog way. At the top, using your scissors, you're going to go forth 
making the mountain tops. And you're gonna go from one end to the other. Okay. Once you've done that, then you'll glue your crown to the top of your king. Okay? Go ahead and do that step. Great. Now that you've got your crowns glued on, we're going to glue on a little thing about Epiphany. So it says, Epiphany. Sometime after Jesus was born, Magi, that's another word for three, the kings, from far away in the east came to see Jesus. Magi are people who study the stars, which we learned about in the story. And it's another word they get called the kings or the three wise men. They get kind of called all those things. They saw the special star of a new king in the sky and followed it. So there you go. So we'll glue that on. And you can glue it on to the top somewhere of your paper. I'm gonna glue mine right there. So go ahead and glue on your little epiphany. The last step with your yellow crayon, we're gonna draw a star. So to draw your star, you're going to draw one big line going up and down, and then a line going across. And then you're gonna draw two diagonal lines, one going one way and the other going the other way. There's my star. Go ahead and make your star. So that's your epiphany project. I hope you had fun making it. And I hope you can find a really good spot to hang it up at your house. I love how these turn out. Um, if you notice, we aren't doing faces on our kings. I like how they look like this. So kind of fun that we're not going to draw faces on them, leave them blank. Um, but I hope you had fun making it. Find a spot to hang it up and happy epiphany.